welcome to Mining Review Africa. And today we are in the offices of Lucia SA. And I'm speaking to the managing director, Christian Herod, about the company, its objectives, and also possibly touch on plans for the future. Christian, thank you for joining us today. Now, Lucia is synonymous with mining around the world, but can you give us some background about Lucia SA, of the origins of the company, and tell us about your business? Thank you, Gerard. Uh, Lucia was started in um, Berlin in Germany in 1906. Um, our originator, uh, Kurt, uh, Kurt Lucia, designed the first vertical roller mill back in the day, um, which was a coal mill. Um, at the time, mills were sort of large, round tubes full of balls, yes. fed with material on the one side, and then the balls would slam on the, on, on the coal, and then something else would pop out on the outside, on the other side. Um, and in the mining industry, this was the way that milling was happening, and it was done in a, in a wet process. In other words, together with water was fed fed with a, with, a, uh, with a feed, and, and then the ball mill would process this material. However, there were some, call it drawbacks and negativity around the, the, the ball mill, uh, mainly related to energy and efficiency. And uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Lucia at the time had this idea to have a, a vertical roller mill. Which is basically, if you if you consider back in the day the the, the maize mills that mm. you had, with a, with a donkey walking around the table with a little millstone on his on his on his on his neck, a little uh, yoke and a millstone, and he would walk around the stable and then mill the, the the maize to a fine powder. It works in the same principle. So, you would you in, in, a, in a modern Lucia mill, and even in that one uh, that was designed back in 1906 basically a vertical tube um, with a turning table and then at that time two rollers running on bearings and the table would turn and the rollers would turn with it and um, mold the material on the table. This was much more efficient than the two ball molds at the same time. So in fact 45% less energy was used to mold the same product. Um, so originally, our, our, our uh, uh, Dr. Lucia at the time, uh, he um, designed this mill for coal, and this was taken up in the coal milling industry and power stations all over the world um, very rapidly. Um, and then, um, as time progressed, uh, uh, the, the Lucia mill was taken up and redesigned and improved um, to, to, to be able to, to deal with. Uh, raw materials, to deal with cement, and to deal with various ores and minerals. Um, so the original Lucia mill had something called a spring system to pull the rollers down onto the table. And the modern variant has an hydraulic system, which can be carefully controlled. So we have been moving and improving on, on with this, this mill design, although in basic essence it's still the same. Um, but various improvements over the years have made it a very efficient piece of equipment. Um, a Lucia mill is also a piece of equipment that can um, classify in the mill, and the classifier has also been changed from a static to a dynamic. So this is the origins of Lucia up to today. Okay, you know, that's a fascinating history. I mean, yes. you know, it's over 120 years in the making. Mm -hmm. yes. But can you just give me an overview of your South African operations and also your presence on the African continent? So, Lucia South Africa was uh, started in 1975 as a result of Duva Power Station having at the time the largest coal mills, Lucia coal mills, installed in the world. Um, this prompted our owner at the time, which is the third generation Dr. Lucia at that time, to, um, to start a local subsidiary of which Lucia South Africa is the end result. We've got local engineering capability, we've got local design capability, we've got um, local manufacturing capabilities, and um, we were started for the coal milling industry, but today we've branched out into cement, and into ores, actually the first ore mill in the world for a Lucia vertical roller mill is also in mm. South Africa at Foscore, right. Palabora mine. 
and we've got several mineral mills also in uh, operation currently. Okay. Now, you know, the Mining Review Africa audience knows all about the innovation and technologies that Lucia SA has employed in the sector. But tell me about your company philosophy. What is it and how do you ensure that you achieve it? Well, our company philosophy basically is to exceed our customers' demands um, in whatever we do. So whether it is efficiency, we, we always, if the customer has an efficiency demand, we, we tend to exceed the efficiency demand. If the customer has a throughput demand, we tend to exceed the throughput demand. This has been our philosophy since the very start and it's still our philosophy today. Okay, thanks for that Christian. Now I want to move away from the business slightly and focus on you. Tell me about your journey to becoming MD of such a well-known company. So I started at Lucia South Africa in 2008 in September as a junior engineer. This is after um, I had my own company for several years and I returned to South Africa. I was overseas and I returned to South Africa and was looking for a new opportunity. I moved from automotive engineering to heavy milling industry in Lucia. Um, uh, then eventually I became the engineering manager in 2017 and in 2018, barely a year later, I was promoted to the managing director uh, role here. Um, as far as my journey is concerned, Lucia South Africa was very much focused on the coal milling industry, specifically ESCOM was one mm. of and still is one of our biggest uh, customers. We had a few uh, cement mills and a couple of ore mills in, the, in, in, the, um, in our client base. But the cement industry in South Africa has tapered off significantly in the past few years. Therefore, as soon as I started as managing director, I set the direction uh, sort of away from cement and started focusing towards ore and digital technologies. That is basically focusing on how the mills gets managed, operated, maintained. Um, we've got several digital software packages taking care of mold process optimization currently and um, we call it machine, machine surveillance which uh, helps with predictive maintenance right. and to predict whenever uh, big change outs in molds, you know, parts wise have to happen. Um, we call this perfect replacement. Right. Now Christian, as MD, you know, obviously you want to install a culture of innovation um, and being, you know, first to introduce new technologies, etc. Tell me, how do you go about getting your staff to buy into this vision? Oh, my, my staff has bought into this vision, uh, well, tremendously at this moment. Well, the thing is, you know, when, when we had to start moving on from a mechanical, purely mechanical focused company to, you know, being mechanical but also digital, obviously there had to be a mindset change. So in the, in the first aspect that what I did is I, I procured um, staff and resources that are digitally minded. This helped a little bit with the change in mindset in the, yeah. in, in, in the company and the culture as a whole. Um, but on top of that, the, the digital products makes the, the mechanical working staff, um, makes their job a little bit easier. Mm. You know, when you have predictive maintenance software running on a mill, and my staff is able to plan um, maintenance a little bit better, the buy-in came easy. Um, also, you know, many, many times you go to a machine that's not running as efficiently as you expected, and if you have an artificial intelligence package in the background running telling you, exactly what the reason for the inefficiencies are. It makes a, a process engineer who's very mechanical minded, it makes his job a little bit easier. So I think buy-in from, from my staff point of view was, was almost instantaneous. Now, Christian, almost 50 years in South Africa, I'm sure there's been a lot of successes, but talk to me about some of the most recent highlights and successes that Lucia South Africa has achieved. Yeah, that is an easy one to answer. It's the two digital packages we installed. One in the mining industry at the Dwala Carbonates. Yes. And the second one is the, the digital package we installed at Sopaku Cement in Dalmas. So these two digital packages included the machine surveillance on the gearboxes, the classifiers and the fans, which takes care of the most important and most expensive components in the malls of the customers. 
um, from a maintenance perspective. And then we've got uh, the system we called AIX Mol Pro, which is an artificial intelligent process optimization system, which are running on both moles, taking care of the process, the milling process. The, the artificial intelligence system is, is learning full steam um, to, be go, to, to go uh, in a closed loop operation system in about four months' time at Idwala and about six months' time at Sepaku. So we are looking forward for these two systems to become fully autonomous and um, to benefit these customers as far as throughput and energy efficiency is concerned. Okay. Well, finally, Christian, can you just give us an insight into what your future aspirations are and some of the goals that you want to achieve in the coming years? Yeah, so from, uh, from, from, from my own perspective is obviously I want uh, uh, Lucia South Africa to be uh, not known as a mechanical milling company only, but to, to be the go-to company for all things process and maintenance. And, and in including um, uh, the customer's processes beyond the milling. In other words, anything downstream and anything upstream where our digital products can have a, mark, uh, a market input into their, in, into their processes, into their efficiencies. And obviously this will have a, 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 a very large effect on our customer sustainability and also on, on, on the environment um, from, from a electricity consumption, a fuel consumption point of view, as, as well as the customer's operations and his profitability. So this is the goal of Lucia South Africa. Okay. Well, Christian Gerard, Managing Director of Lucia SA, thank you very much for joining us on Mining Review Africa today. Thank you very much, Gerard.